Hi, this is Carl Potter, and today we're um, talking to you from a job shack, and just wanted to uh, very quickly with the video uh, that we're working on here is talk to you about personal protective equipment. I talk to you about this a lot, but one personal protective equipment obviously is hard hats, and we've talked about those. You've seen the uh, the melon squash and protecting your melon video that we've done, and also we've got our safety glasses, and I talk about those a lot. But something that's very near and dear to my heart for a reason is hearing protection. I want to talk to you about that a little bit because when you're doing construction work around jackhammers or equipment like vibrators or it, or just where there's a lot of hammering and beating and it's really enclosed in a manufacturer or a construction or in a, a power plant or whatever, you have some noises. Now, one of the rules of thumb is if you have to shout and you're to have be understood within about three foot, then you're probably needing some hearing protection. Now, I want to I want to make that a little bit further because I believe that about eight foot, if you're if you're having to holler at eight foot, then you probably need something some kind of hearing protection because I tell you, I've got the experience of this and and I'll take them out, but I've got hearing protection, uh, no hearing protection. I've got hearing aids and the reason I've got hearing aids here I I that you see is because I worked in a power plant for about two and a half years and worked around turbines and that turbine noise in two and a half years during that time uh, there was no uh, qualified uh, area that said that you had to always have hearing protection on now there is in those areas but what happened over a period of time I wound up with what's called uh, with what's called tone deafness and so part of the tone that I don't hear it is in there and it just happens to be um, women's tone but that's a whole nother story anyway and and I had to prove that to my wife by the way uh, which you can God married guys can understand but I have that tone deafness now that tone deafness causes me to have to wear special hearing aids where I can hear those tones along with the other the low tones and, and the high tones now the other thing is is we protect ourselves by the type of hearing protection that we use the hearing protection I want to talk to you about several are this now I use these one reason is because of my hearing aids that I can put these on but I also like them because then uh, they're they're just I just like them now you're out there working and they're uncomfortable they're hot uh, and, and, and everything and they're they're great for shooting they're great for sports they're great for mowing different things like that and you can also get noise canceling with these uh, they're a little bit more expensive but you can get a noise canceling as a pilot I have a pair of these that actually have my microphone boom on them and all that and they are noise canceling because I can hear better in the cockpit and it's a lot safer and I and I use those but the other piece of uh, uh, the most common one that we see is the hearing aids hearing plugs like these right here and, and I'm going to open these up and, and show you that there's a proper way also to put those hearing this hearing protection on and you see uh, got the little lanyard and you've seen these and you probably use them and, and it's probably been demonstrated but with clean hands you can take and roll these up and roll them in a in a small enough uh, roll like this so that you can get them in your ear and I have pretty good size ears so so I don't have to roll them up too tight but anyway if you notice what you do is you reach back behind here and you put them in by pulling on your ear don't pull too hard but you pull your ear uh, and then get it stretched out there where they'll fit and then take and pull them around pull the other one around and you grab that uh, get it rolled up so that it'll fit in your ear and as you roll that up then it'll begin to fit better and begin to expand. I can feel the other one expand. And now I have hearing protection. Now, although that might be muffled, what's interesting is you can start to hear people, people's voice and instructions and things like that a lot better. And those sharp, repetitive noises you hear, like hammers and and things like that, loud grinders, things that have that high pitch and above an 85 decibel level, will not bother you. Two things that'll happen when you wear these is it'll lower your stress that's that's one big thing and when you go home at night you won't have that ringing in your ears and it's the ringing that I live with every day I can lay in bed on the quietest night and it sounds like a phone ringing and my brain has gotten used to that so I don't pay any attention to it I can ignore it now 
but for the longest time I didn't know what that was and that um, tends to uh, tends to kind of you know affect all of your hearing so I would encourage you this no matter whether at your job site you're required to have hearing protection, get you some hearing protection, get some things like this. Uh, if you're using a chainsaw, in one of my other videos I talked about this as a piece of equipment that I use, and this is when I'm, I'm doing this, I've got uh, the earmuffs right here that are built onto my handy dandy hard hat, chainsaw hard hat, and you use those kind of things. So when you're trying to protect yourself, just remember, hearing protection is cheap. It's a lot cheaper. The hearing aids that I use are about $2,500 a piece. So I can tell you, you really don't want to spend that money. It would be a whole lot cheaper to spend a few bucks on a box full of these and then have them around. And whether your job site requires or not, you start wearing these. This is Carl Potter in this week's video, and I hope you make it a safe day. Thank <laughs> you.